Now in this question we're given a geometric series which has a fourth term of 10 and a seventh term of 80 and asked to find the common ratio. Well first of all, just as a reminder, with geometric progressions, remember the first term is A and the second term you multiply by a common ratio and get AR and the third term is AIR squared and the fourth term AR cubed and so on. In fact, the nth term is always a times r to the power n minus 1. So I use this particular formula here in order to work out what the common ratio is. So if we're given the fourth term is 10, okay, the fourth term would be this one here, ar cubed, first, second, third, fourth term. So what we're saying is that therefore ar cubed must equal 10. And given the seventh term is 80, that would mean that therefore a the first time times r to the power n minus 1, so that would be 6, because n would be 7 here, would equal 80. And so what I have is two equations, which I'm going to number 1 and 2, that I have to solve simultaneously because I've got two unknowns, an a and an r. So I need to solve them simultaneously to find out what R is. Now when you have simultaneous equations like this, one of the most efficient ways of solving them is to simply take, say, equation number 2, the one with the highest power in, R to the power 6, and divide it by equation 1. Let me show you. If I say 2 divided by 1 gives, all right, what we have is from 2, AR to the 6, divided by the AR cubed is going to be equal to 80 divided by the 10. Now we can cancel out the A's here, so we have A into A goes 1, like so, and R cubed into R to the 6 goes r cubed times, so that would be r cubed equals 80 divided by 10, which is 8. So in order to get r, just need to take the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is just simply r equals 2. So the common ratio then is 2. And that brings us to the end of this part.